Hey guys, Bass from X-Force again. Today I'm gonna look at some pistols. Uh, these are some new gas-powered pistols from Double Bell. Full metal, green gas, these things are hey, alright. Anyway, so I'm gonna take these I don't know, and I wanna give you guys a closer look. Alright, so I'm gonna manhandle this uh, camera. All right, let's come around here, have a closer look. All right, so 2011 high cappers. Okay, let me take that. All right, so one thing about these, they do have a hop up. I'm going to find it hard to sort of try and show you guys. But I don't know if we can. Well, that's going to be hard. It's in there. Uh, more of a rib sort of uh, inner barrel. But it works. That hop-up system, like what they call it, actually works. Alright. So, this one's kind of my favorite. It's got all the silver bits. Uh, machine stable. So, not hand stable, but machined um, finished uh, grip. All right, all the silver bits there. But if you're something into a little bit more fancy, we go over here. We go the gold edition, all the little gold bits. All right, that looks pretty sweet. If you're into the gold, oh, we go a little bit further, and we got the silver slide. Okay, OPS. That's uh, yeah. They're quite nice pieces, nice and heavy. All right, so they don't come with much in the box. You basically get this little bag. Comes with obviously with the mag, uh, high capacity mag. I think they hold. I could be wrong here, right? They hold about 18, 17, 18, 20, somewhere around there. Uh, shots. These mags worked very well so far. We found. Um, Okay, so there you are, the double bell 2011 high cappers are in, full metal, green gas, and uh, choice of three, okay. Alright, so that's kind of our close up. Um, I'm going to look at this one probably a little bit more closer. It's just in the middle. <laughs> Alright, so gold edition, silver edition, whatever, silver slide. I said your magazine. Um, does come with a plastic a nylon base. I guess if you drop it, plastic's uh, a little bit more uh, resistant to uh, vibration. Uh, metal will get scratched and dented. Alright. Now the slide, that, so the full thing is cast metal, not CNC, um, but still very strong. Um, also, uh, you got your iron sights here, or your sight, if you want to call it that, there with the little two white dots and um, an optic front. All right, that there, I do believe you can take it off, but. Uh, some of them are a little bit stuck. Anyway, I'm not going to keep trying. Um, so all your important bits are all gold plated. Uh, the hammer, your safety, slide release, trigger, mag release, and your uh, sort of thumb safety, or whatever they call that. All right, so yeah, looks pretty sweet. Like I said, the weight. Being full metal, I said full metal except the the grip right here, right? and the base of the mag. The rest is yeah. I haven't weighed it, but I'd definitely say close to probably about 800 to a kilo, um, 800 grams to a kilo. All right. Um, like I said, also uh, hop up system works to a T. We've tested this over. 
the last week or so and uh, works beautifully. Now with gas you need to be using either one, these are the green gases right so green gas uh, if you if you still got some 144 I'm not sure it's going to shoot very well this is made mo mostly for the P1s alright so not as much power you, because the weight of the slide needs that extra power so green gas is the go alright make sure they also got some lube you really need to take care of these things me I've got no idea we got the techs here I just hand it over to them and let them do what they got to do uh, but yeah you need to take the slide lube it up make sure that you maintain it otherwise you will have problems uh, they're a little bit more realistic in a sense all right anyway um, so when you pull back that's your uh, slide lock there that locks up push that down that releases it you've also got your safety there you can lock you can lock it um, and also if you don't press on your uh, thumb safety there the back that it won't fire or it shouldn't also there is a grub screw let me take that closer so don't ask me too much about that I've just got told there's a grub screw in there okay that's also for your trigger it's a trigger since it some it basically you can adjust the trigger sensitivity all right or something like that don't ask me too much so that's basically yeah it's pretty cool um, for those that get into that heavily me it looks good it shoots well thanks for coming all right <laughs> all right so let me uh, do some uh, testing let's uh, give these uh, bad boys a bit of a run so when you're feeling it you don't have to take it out you just get your mag or get your blaster upside down and bang I had, should be full so I'm not gonna bother but just gotta be upside down right okay so um, speed loader gotta have a speed loader for these man I, I'm telling you uh, without a speed loader you're just kidding yourself Okay, there goes one. Right. We'll run a couple through. I'm not going to get too uh, crazy. Just want to see what they're like, how they perform, and all that. Let's get this guy back a little. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. That's got some kick. Very nice. Tell you what, it's something else when you get a gas powered blaster instead of a, uh, a battery powered one. All right. Damn, look at those numbers. Whoo! That is crazy business. All right, so from the top. 310, 301, 311, 316, 289, 304, 316, 323. 309 is our average, and I'll tell you what, I will go with that 310 mark. I think that's pretty uh pretty consistent. Damn. 300 plus out of the box. Um let's see here. Just using some green gas. Yeah, I like it. Very nice. When it's empty, that'll lock back, right? So, there you go. Good friends. Well, there's still some left in there. So take it out. Make sure your hammer's back in place. Um, and then, that's it. Uh, probably should have emptied it. So you got to pull that back. Hold it. She's empty. <laughs> okay, maybe. She's 
is dying, but she's still trying. Oh, yeah, that mag's cold. So when you mag, if you're gonna go shoot that, that mag does get rather cold. When it's hot, being Queensland and all, that's gonna, you know, it gets quite hot. It'll perform even better. But this gas, this green gas um, pistols will uh, definitely crank it up in summer. If you wanna bring it down a little bit, possibly could go with the 144. Just to bring down that power a little bit if you uh, if you if you've got a really hot day all right so that's our uh, high cappers or the 2011s all right beautiful shoot like a dream built-in hop up I reckon double bell done a pretty damn good job uh, all in all I can't fault them just yet obviously the more we use these things, the more we uh, find what is what. Uh, but out of the bat, you know, we've we've done a fair bit of uh, high yards to make sure we bring you guys some pretty decent uh, products. Uh, we've taken a little bit longer, I guess. So hopefully, for you guys that have them, enjoy them. Uh, for you guys that don't, check them out. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching again. Stay safe. Make sure you transport your blaster safely and don't do anything uh, silly. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a Merry Christmas.